Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Inside this video session guys, we are going to take a demonstration of our library management system pro plugin. If I back to official website of WordPress, now inside this official website of WordPress, this is the plugin actually online web tutor has uploaded. Something called library management system. Now you can download freely from this WordPress repository but this freely available plugin has some limited features. All these limited features basically listed here. Now if I scroll down, there are also some features we have which basically locked inside this freely available plugin. These are the features basically available when we buy about the pro version of this plugin. Now inside this video, we are going to take a two of all the available pro features of this pro version of this library management system plugin. If you want to take the video demonstration of freely available plugin, just go to YouTube, type online web tutor and by going through this channel, actually you can find a playlist something called online web tutor projects and the first video of this playlist about the freely available plugin about this WordPress repository. Now inside this video, we are going to take a two or demonstration of the pro features available to this plugin. Now here, we have a WordPress setup. Inside this WordPress setup, library management system of pro version is installed. Let's see that what are the features actually the pro version provides. So if I click on this library management, this is the dashboard and inside this dashboard as we can see that there are several options we have. If we want to take all the features, description, so scroll down, all we can read descriptions from here. So back to dashboard, let's create some of the students. So back to student section, firstly we have to create some branch. So here we have no branches, still we have created. So click on add branch and let's say that computer science, if I press submit successfully we have created branch again if I click on add branch and let's say that mechanical now if I press submit successfully we have created the second branch let's add some of the students inside these branches click on add a student scroll down and let's say that registration number let's say that one two three four five for the first student so let's say that student one I am to select branch so this student is from computer science and let's say that email id is something student1 at gmail.com and the phone number is something dummy value and address info let's say sample address ct let's say ct1 let's say state1 and inside this country we can select any of the country from this drop down now father's name, let's say that sample father1 and let's say sample father2 and if we want to give the parents phone number we can specify here but this is field is not mandatory so we are going to left blank for this so if I press submit successfully we have created our first student so let's create one more student so something this is our registration number and uh, let's say student 2 branch is something let's say mechanical and let's say that student 2 at gmail.com and dummy phone number I'm going to specify here let's say test address let's say city 2 state 2 and let's choose any country inside here and this is sample father 2 and this is sample mother 2 and I'm not going to specify any parents phone number as well as profile photo if you want then you can specify both these fields so click on submit successfully we have created the second student if I back to the list as we can see that this is a listing of all the created users. 
inside this proof version of this library management system actually we can register a student either from admin panel or also we have an option at the front end so that from the front end section a student itself register to this library management system so if I click on these pages go here and as we can see that our pages our pages created inside this pages section if I click on view now this is the front end section of this library management system plugin now inside this first tab it has provided a tabs functionality so in the first tab here we have called user registration inside this user registration actually a student itself can register by filling all the informations from these fields and after submission actually admin will get all the data inside this student list inside this listing we have registration type if suppose admin has created so it should be admin or the student will create from the front end then this value will be different inside this column so let's create one student from the front end so back to our front end page and let's say that registration number is something dummy value and let's say here I am to register student 3 and class would be computer science and let's email address is something student 3 let's add gmail.com phone number something dummy value sample address 2 CT should be 2 or let's say 3 a state something let's say dummy value and select country from this drop down sample name task name and I am to leave blank for this field now if I press submit button so as we can see that successfully we have registered our student from this front end page back to list reload this section now as we can see that inside this listing we have successfully registered a student but inside this registration type column we have now web it means that from the website the student itself registered inside this library management system so if we back to the pro version features list go here scroll down now inside this features list as we can see that we can create unlimited branch and class but inside the free version we have only two credits left for the free version it means that we are able to create only two branch or class inside our free available plugin but inside the pro version we can create unlimited branches for the students as well as we can create unlimited unlimited students for our plugin unlimited staff types unlimited staffs means all these features up to six we can create unlimited these things but inside this free version only two credits two credits three credits and so on about we have some restriction about these features scroll down now let's say that issue book for multiple days plan what basically it tells us so back to our admin panel let's create some of the books inside this section firstly we need to create some category so let's say book category let's say one submit create category let's say book category two submit successfully we have created our two categories inside this book section now let's add some books inside these categories so select here book category 1 let's say this is our book ID let's say book 1 let's say author 1 publication 1 and let's amount I'm going to enter let's say 432 sample description and here is some dummy ISBN number and if you want to upload about the cover image we can upload from this button I'm not going to upload any image for this book so click on submit successfully we have created our first book let's create one more book so book category 2 this is the book ID let's say book 2 author 2 let's say publication 2 amount should be 120 this is our sample and these fields are not mandatory so I am to leave blank 
click on submit so successfully we have created our details go to books listing now we have two books available to our stock so if we want to issue some book to any of the student available to our library management system plugin so go to issue book now inside this issue book section we have a drop down actually here we can select that how many days actually we can just going to give a book to any specific student we have these options 7 days 30 days and 45 days according to this selection actually a student I'm going to allow to keep that book on those specific days this is a feature actually not available inside the free available plugin so let's say that I'm to actually issue a book so let's say book category 1 now inside this category this is the book we have created and I'm to issue for 30 days user type let's say a student computer science and we have two students so let's say that I'm to select student 3 and I'm to submit that so successfully we have issued a book to a student if you want to give or, or see the history of issued books go here clicks on this listing and this is the date actually we have issued now this is the issue date and as we know that we have selected 30 days so according to this final day we have calculated the return date of this given book also inside this pro version of this plugin also we have called export buttons available to these data tables where actually if you want to export these issued records or let's say return book records then we can just export these records into our CSV format PDF format or copy to clickboard these are the free features actually available at this pro version back to our features list we can also set about the fine amount in inside our free version we have a default fine setting but let's say that if we want to set our custom amount means we have issued book for 30 days now let's say that a student has taken about 35 days to return as we know that five days we have extra so we can set about the fine amount of about five days so go to settings panel now inside the settings panel this is about late fine setting here as we can see that by default it has a value of 1 it means that for 5 days extra in Indian currency we have 5 INR but inside let's say that if you want to make 10 it means for per day if we want to charge about 10 then it will automatically multiply that 10 value with the extra days it means 50 value we have to actually get the fine amount from the student so this is the feature of the pro version back to our features list now this is supports student registration from front end as we can see that from this front end section we can register a student now inside this books gallery we have if we reload this page now as we can see that inside this book gallery we have two books created from our admin panel now if we filter the book let's say for the book category one now this is the book available for this category again if you select two now this is the book for this category two now here we have a filtered inside this we can filter all the books from this category buys so inside this pro version features plugins list as we have seen that inside this listing all the creations all the credits of creating all these things are unlimited we have now multiple days plan to issue a book to a particular staff or a particular student we can generate our records either in the CSV format PDF or all the issued books as well as return books by the student as well as by the staff we can set the custom late fine amount for each extra day and also it supports about the student registration from the front end so that admin if admin is not able to create a student from the admin panel then a student itself register from this front end section so basically guys these are the features our pro version plugin supports now let's say that 
if you are interested to buy this plugin and if you want to implement your own custom functionality to this plugin then we can also work on those functionalities but it will be bit extra charge from this specified amount so this is the video guys about the demonstration of pro plugin of library management system now inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.